Uh, you know, a lot of people were watching or hoping to watch <laughs> the race in Daytona. It didn't happen, and it was weather, really. Yeah, it was weather-related, and I'm sure you saw the rain coming down, but yeah. I wanted to give you a full picture of why it had to be postponed. Check out just how soggy it was this evening. Didn't really see a break until after 10 o'clock this evening. Let's take it back home, though. Not really seeing much activity on live Doppler 13. That will be changing a little bit tomorrow, and especially on Monday. But even right now, our clouds of really clearing a beautiful look at downtown Indy 76 degrees right now. Our dew points are in the low 60s, so we have been feeling a little bit of that humidity and it's really going to kick into gear over the next couple of days. Temperatures across the area, Columbus down to 68, 66 in Kokomo, 73 in Lafayette. And in the morning, we're going to be expecting those temperatures to hold on to those middle 60s. It's going to be a muggy and mainly quiet start with a mixture of sunshine and clouds, but it'll be quickly warming up into the 80s even before lunchtime. So it's going to be a hot day if you're going to be heading out to the Indians game. The temperatures will be warming up to a high of 90. We will have a chance for some pop up thunderstorms during the afternoon. Live Doppler 13, as I mentioned, quiet over Indiana, but we are watching for some showers and storms out to our west as we zoom on and put our future track 13 into play. Pretty quiet this evening, even starting off tomorrow morning. Maybe a stray shower or two. A warm front will be lifting north through our area, mainly just bringing in some of that additional cloud cover. You can see an isolated shower or storm around lunchtime. And then once we add in some of that daytime heating during the afternoon, some of those pop up thunderstorms will be possible. Not expecting severe weather, but a heavy downpour will be possible out of a storm. Also, any rain will bring a brief relief from that heat. And then it's going to die down really once we get a little bit past sunset. Here's our muggy meter. It really spikes on Monday. It is going to be up into that 70s, that miserable range. But look at what's coming up this week. It is really going to drop on out for the start of September. It is going to be very pleasant. And as we see why we're going to be pretty humid over the next couple of days, we're going to be in a warm sector of a storm system and it's the winds will be out of the south and then a cold front is going to be picking up some showers and storms throughout the day on Monday, especially during the evening. But once that cold front moves on through a high pressure system, more of a dry air mass moves on in, really allowing it to be very nice as we roll through a majority of next week. But for the next couple of days, it's going to be warm and humid, hot tomorrow, high of 90, 86 on Monday, scattered thunderstorms. Most of it will be out of our way on Tuesday. Clouds will be clearing throughout the day. Not as hot either. High of 84. Then first day of September. Check that out. High of 78 and very pleasant. Can't believe it's already almost September. Chelsea, <laughs> thanks so much.